Hi there, this is Maggie Sampson with Esri Canada's Technical Support, and today I will be showing you how to remove members from your ArcGIS online organization. There are four steps that you need to perform to remove a member from your organization. The first is to disable the member. The second is to take ownership of or remove any of their content. The third is to take ownership of or remove any of their groups. And the fourth and final step is to remove any assigned licenses. You will need to be an administrator of your ArcGIS online organization or have the correct uh, privileges to remove a member. Let's get started on removing a member from your organization by opening the ArcGIS online sign-in page and entering your administrator credentials. On the main page under the Organization tab, you'll see a Members tab, and this is where we will need to be to perform the four steps that I mentioned previously. In the member section, you'll be able to see a list of all the users in your organization, and here you can either select users or you can search them at the top with the search bar. Once you've located the user that you are looking to remove, today we will be removing this demo user, you're going to navigate to the far right side of their username and select the three gray dots. This is going to open up a drop down menu where you can perform all the tasks needed to remove a user. We're going to just start by disabling the member. We start with this because disabling a member prevents them from consuming organizational resources and when a member is disabled they can't sign into ArcGIS Online, create content, or administer the site. This will also disable Esri Access if it has been enabled for the user. Once a user has been disabled, you'll see that they are grayed out, but you can still access this drop-down menu. The second thing that we need to do is to remove any of their content or take ownership of the content. So we can do this again from the same menu, and this time we're going to select Manage Items. This is going to take us to the user's personal content page, and we can see that they have a few items. When you go to the user's page, you'll be taken to their root folder, but we're going to move up to the upper folder, which shows all of their content, because this will show us everything, even if it's in some different folders. Here you can select individual items, or all of the items at once, and either delete them or change the owner. I'm going to delete some of their test data that I won't be needing anymore that this user has. It's simple as clicking the delete button and then confirming. And for the remaining items, I want to keep these. I don't want them to be removed, so I'm going to change the owner. You just have to select the items you want and then go to the change owner button. Here, you'll be able to select a different member and I'm going to set it to myself. And you can also, if wanted, select a folder. I'm going to create a new folder that tells me where this data came from. It's not a necessary step, but it is good for managing your content. Once this is completed, you should see no more items under your test user or the removed users page. We're going to go back to the member section and again find that same user on the members page and this time we're going to take a look at their groups. As with their items, they also cannot have groups or be members of groups when you want to remove them from your organization, so we're going to go ahead and view their groups. You can see that this user both owns one group and is a member of another. When they are just a member of a group, you simply have to click remove member from group and then confirm. When you have another group that they are an owner of, you can either delete the group using this button or you can go into the group here and in the same way that you did with their items, you can change the owner. Again, I'm going to change this owner to myself. This way you can keep the groups if there's other users and content in here that you want to be using. And then we're going to go back to our members page one last time. Locate that member again and open up this menu yet again. This time we're going to take a look at their licenses. So we're going to select manage add-on licenses. And here you can see all the licenses that have been assigned to the user. A user can't be removed from an organization until they no longer have licenses. So I'm going to deselect all of their pro licenses. And for the individual applications, you just have to uncheck the boxes. You can save these changes. 
and now the user will have no more licenses. Once you have done all of these steps, which were to disable the member, remove their content, remove any of their groups, and unassign any licenses, you will now be able to delete the user. And again, in the same menu, you simply select Delete Member. And then you're going to confirm because once a member has been deleted, you can't add them back to the organization. You could use the same email, but the username will no longer be usable. And there you go, the user has been deleted. Hopefully this video will help you with managing your ArcGIS online content and members. If so, please just give, give this video a like and feel free to leave a comment below with suggestions for more videos. If you want to see more from the Esri Canada's technical YouTube page, you can always subscribe to our channel below this video. Thanks for watching.